How big is the demand for perimeter protection today? Uh, that, that is very much a growing vertical, I think. I mean, with the added threat of uh, terrorists and uh, bad actions that we have seen the last few years, so uh, perimeters has, have become more and more important to protect. We have seen a phenomenal growth in that segment, I can tell you. I think perimeter protection has always been an important uh, part of an overall integrated security system. Uh, as uh, perimeter it can be defined as a number of things, including you know your building or your uh, premises or your um, uh, your your entire corporate campus or or university campus or an airport or a, a government facility. So I think that's always been an important part of a, a total integrated solution. Uh, the demand is very big, and of course there are different solutions to uh, yeah, to protect the perimeter. Uh, but video analytics is uh, now in, uh, improving so much that it's also a very reliable detection, especially uh, using uh, thermal cameras when you have, where you can do long-range detection in a very reliable way. Um, yeah, we see a big increase in demand there. What kind of technology do you think is most popular when it comes to perimeter protection? Um, depends on different uh, parameters as well. Especially in certain parameters, you will need uh, long distance uh, monitoring. Also, uh, the day and night monitoring, thermal, thermal technologies are quite uh, efficient. I think it depends on the scenarios. Also, it depends on the budget. So, for some budget constraint, they probably will prefer more video technologies. But found for some project, they probably have a higher budget. They probably will use it later, radar or thermal technologies. Okay, so with perimeter protection, when we're looking at critical infrastructure and high security sites, thermal is a really popular solution. But that's quite small numbers. And in reality, optical technology with infrared and reliable technology, day-to-day -day technology, is far more popular. Uh, we're still using a lot of PIRs, and there's a lot of great companies in the industry making PIR technology today. We work with those guys to do perimeter protection. The future, the future is all about thermal technology and improved low light performance in optical as well. If you're an airport, I think a thermal camera is what you need. If you're like a car dealer, then uh, probably the, the, the network radar is a good thing to protect you. So it varies. And uh, if you're like a transformer substation or so, then you can definitely use a, a video camera with a, a high-end analytics. Video analytics can find the, the, the kind of uh, 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 intrusion problem. So also, like 100 meter, uh, maybe uh, within 100 meter is useful. But for the radio, radio system and also like thermal system, it, the range will be much more bigger and the distance will be much more long. So it depends on the different uh, environment and uh, marketing needs. Yeah, and also the cost. Uh, you cannot re rely on video alone to do your perimeter protection. Uh, now, in combination with other technologies uh, such as uh, radars or infrared beams, uh, you can achieve a much better perimeter protection stance, but it is an illusion to think that a perimeter protection can be achieved alone with video analytics. How has the increasing number of drones affected uh, the perimeter protection market? Um, especially in the consumer drones. Uh, in the last two to three years, there's a very increasing, uh, how to say, increasing numbers to be implemented already used in the markets. And uh, this has added the complexity of how to the parameter can protect um, the, the, the land or different areas. Because in pre uh, previously, you only need to take care of the vertical areas. Now you also need to take care of the horizontal. It's, it's become more uh, spectral, uh, different three-dimensional areas for the, for the protections. Well, you want to be able to detect the drones, but once you detect them, you, you also need to have an action. And it's, I think it's still in its infancy, but uh, I think this is the number one issue for many security companies and security managers.